Hi, welcome to a new Civilization 6 game. So, now that we finished a game as Byzantium, it's time to play as the Gauls, which is the other new Civilization added in the recent Frontier Pass update. And this time we will be playing on the new map template, the Highlands. And it will be a standard size map. Here's my seed. If you would like to use the same exact map I'm using, you need to use the same game random seed the same map random seed, and also the same map settings I'm using. So, Highlands map template, everything on standard, and that's pretty much it. You can change the difficulty if you don't want to play on data, like I'm playing, but the map settings have to be the same. You can also just download my save file. I will post a link in the pinned comment below. So, I will be playing with all random leaders. I actually removed one, because normally you get 8 players on a standard size map. I removed one AI, so that we'll get slightly more space. Because the goals are an amazing civilization to play SimCity style, if that's what you like. They are good for a lot of different things, but they are an amazing sieve for turtling. And I'm also playing with Secret Society's game mode, I actually turned off Dramatic Ages game mode, and we are playing without shuffle mode. So it will be more of a standard game. And if you enjoy my Civilization 6 videos, click the like button to denounce the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> Real talk though, all the likes on the first part of Byzantium game helped a lot. It was by far my best video of the year. So thanks for all the support, I really appreciate it. All right, let's get started. I'm looking forward to this. Now, we will get some era score early on because our unique unit replaces the warrior, which means we start with one right away. Now, there are a few important things to consider as the goals when you're settling your cities. Because as the goals, you cannot build specialty districts adjacent to your city center. Now, not every district is a specialty district, but the Opidom is. And this is very important, because the Opidom gets major adjacency bonuses from quarries and strategic resources. It also unlocks with iron working, which means you can get an industrial zone, which is what the Opidom is, much earlier than you would otherwise be able to. And this will be our research priority right away. We also definitely want to start with mining, because building a mine will not only give us culture on that mine, it will culture bomb the adjacent tiles, as long as they are in range of the city. Now, one thing to consider is that this, for example, would be a pretty good location for an opidum, but if I settle on spot, I will not be able to build an opidum right here, because that would make it adjacent to the city center, and we cannot build it adjacent to the city center. So, I might want to move one tile to the southwest. That will still give us fresh water, we'll still have the cattle in range, we'll have both the stone tiles in range, and I'm sure there are more nice tiles to the south. So, let's move one tile to the southwest. And I'm actually going to mark this tile right away. And if this mountain wasn't here, settling on spot would be fine, because I would be able to build the Opidom here, but because there's a mountain, I cannot build it here. And nobody said that there won't be even more quarries in range, but this is what we see, so this is what I'm making the decision based on. So now we will settle right here. There we go. That is also a hill. And I would actually consider opening with a Gezete, because it's a pretty strong unit, and also we'll want to kill three barbarians early on to boost bronze working. But I will still get a scout because I want to explore as much of the map as possible, and I want to get as many goodie huts as possible early on. We will still get our second gazette early on, however. Here's another cattle. That's actually nice because we can use a cattle to build the Great Zimbabwe in the future. Obviously, that's not coming anytime soon, but it is coming at some point. Here are even more quarries. Very nice. So this could be another Opidum in the future. And even more quarries, okay. 
So wait, that's already six stone that we revealed. And also Minerva, and even more quarries. This is actually insane. Holy crap, look at this spot. That's already plus six from the stone. That's crazy. Let's mark that right away. So that's a plus six oppidum just from the stone alone. And then we could have a district over here, for example. We'll just have to hurry up because of Bandar Brunei. Bandar Brunei being my neighboring city-state is a sign, because that was also my neighboring city-state in my Byzantium game. <laughs> and if you haven't seen my Byzantium game, you should definitely check it out. I will have a link in the pinned comment below. Now, I will grab Magnus, because there's a lot of jungle and forests to chop early on. Which means we can take advantage of Magnus even more than we usually would. Yeah, I will have to think about where to settle a city down here. Let's grab the goodie hut over there. And there's the scout. So now I could get a gazette, but let's get a builder because we want the mines ASAP. We got a recon unit. That is actually not bad. Two recon units early on will certainly help. Could have been worse, that's for sure. And here's Valetta. Okay, this is definitely a sign, because I had Valetta nearby in my Byzantium game as well. This is actually amazing. We don't need Valetta this early on, but it's easily one of the best or more useful city-states in the game, because it allows you to fade by walls and flood barriers. We will take advantage of that for sure. Alright, let's keep moving. Some desert over here. And that looks like a volcano. It is not wisdom. We got Code of Laws. So let's pick up our policies right away. I will pick up Survey, actually. We can get more scout experience that way. And then God King to get our Pantheon. So we can get started on craftsmanship. And let's check this general area some more. Now, I don't like that we ended up out of range of the spices, but we can probably have another city that will get the spices anyway. Should be doable. But let's get animal husbandry though, because we need to know where strategic resources are for the purpose of planning our oppidums. So while animal husbandry doesn't help us with our own working, we still want to unlock and reveal horses early on to see where exactly they are. Alright, let's send this scout northwest, actually. Now, the mines. We'll get a mine right here, because that will culture bomb three adjacent tiles right away. It is not oh, natural wonder! Bunker. Nice, and it's, it's Mount Everest. This is weird, man. <laughs> this is really weird. So many parallels with my Byzantium game, it's actually a little bit creepy. And another secret society. I think I'll go with Alls of Minerva, though. As tempting as it is to try the Hermetic Order, it's generally speaking the weakest secret society. But first, let's pick up provision, because we want to be able to get settlers without losing any population. Uh, yeah, let's go northwest with the other scout. This should still be a decent city, though. Let me check the settler overlay. Yeah, this could be a city. It's not going to be super amazing, and the things will be a little bit cramped, but this could certainly be a city. That way we would get the spices, and we would be in range to get a harbor. So I like that. Alright, now we will get a settler to get that city going. We need to settle this spot as soon as possible before Bandar Brunei picks up the tiles. We should be able to get the wheat at least. We'll see about that. So this will be a mine and that will culture bomb the adjacent tiles, like I said. Alright, this looks like a pretty nice city location as well. Not a lot of hills over here, but still a nice city location nonetheless. So then we can get a quarry right here. Just need to get mining. Wait, we have mining. Why does it say it requires mining? We already have that. 
Maybe the game is confused, but yeah, that threw me off a little bit. And how many turns for the border to expand? Uh, three turns, but that's not very useful just yet. I will keep my gazette uh, relatively close, because we don't want to go and kill some barbarians. We need that for the boss. No barbarian comes just yet though, which is a little bit surprising actually. Here's the quarry that gives us masonry boast, and I could actually buy this style and then build a mine over here. That would be pretty decent value actually. I'm going to do that, because that will still culture bomb the two adjacent tiles. Here's another natural wonder, the fountain of youth. I haven't seen the fountain of youth in a pretty long time, and that is a really really nice wonder too. And the next moment, we definitely want to grab that. And we got the foreign trade boost. And there's a goodie hut, which means AI hasn't found the Fountain of Youth yet. Okay, this should be one of our early cities. It's a little bit far away from my capital, but it's definitely worth grabbing this location. Probably right here. That looks pretty good. And we would get like all the stuff in the area. And it would be a directly coastal city as well. I like that. Okay, we need to find some barbarian camps. And the barbarians to kill. This is a bit awkward that we haven't found any. Here are some horses. So this could be an opidum potentially. I'm not saying it has to be. But it's a potential spot for an opidum. Let's just mark it right away. And we can plan our cities around that. I would say every opidum. Wait, there are horses here as well. Wow. Okay, so this is already a plus 8 opidum. Plus 8 just from the horses and the quarries. That's insane. I think the city will have to be right here. Because I definitely want fresh water. It could also be on the west side. But I'm thinking we could have a city here. So that's 4 tiles away from this location. And then we could have a city here to get the quarry that will otherwise be out of range of the other city. So this looks decent. I like this. And then probably somewhere in this area. I haven't revealed all the tiles over there just yet. Okay, next up, we can get started on bronze working. Now, since we did reveal Mount Everest nearby, I could try to build a holy site, but it's really not our priority. Let's get started on bronze working, because we definitely need that. Here's the mine, and we culture bombed the adjacent tiles. And we'll get the settler in two turns. Let's give him an escort with our gazette, just in case some barbarians spawn. It's unlikely, but definitely not impossible. We still haven't found any barbarians or met any neighbors. This is a little bit weird. Without craftsmanship. Well, we got craftsmanship, so that's nice. Here's another volcano and the settler. So now we could get another gazette. Eh? I still don't know about any barbarian camps, but I assume we'll get some. Surely they will spawn somewhere nearby. I need the bronze working boss. And having two gazette will help us get it faster. So these guys will go together. Okay, here's a barbarian scout. We can actually attack him to get a little bit of experience. That does mean there has to be a barbarian camp nearby. And here's a barbarian horseman. Good. I mean, not really good, but now we know there are some barbarians nearby. Let's actually split up. Unless a new barbarian camp spawns while I'm moving the settler, it should be safe to send him on his own. Here's a barbarian camp and a wounded spearman. Not quite sure what attacked him, but if I stay in the area, I might be able to finish him off. Fairly unlikely, but it might happen. So where is that barbarian camp? We will kill this fella, so that's good. Still no AI. Okay, never mind. We got Congo. Right. And that gives us writing boost. 
Interesting neighbor. So I could try to get a religion, since Congo is in the game, and they cannot get their own religion. I don't think I will, but it is an option. Let's kill the horseman. That was a little bit risky, but we got him. And there's a jungle, which means there are no other barbarian units threatening us. Alright, now we could get a trader to send a trader out to one of the city-states. I'm leaning towards getting another builder to get more culture bombs. Especially for this city right here. So let's get a builder and this will be our exact city location. Next up we'll go for early empire and let's keep moving. We'll keep going west. Oh, a settler. If I could steal that settler, that would be amazing. And we just got Alpine. I might be able to get that settler. Oh, I did lose that Gezete. Because there's a barbarian horse archer. Okay, okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Slightly annoying. And I did take a risk to kill that horseman. We will open with a monument this time. Although we don't need a monument as much. I could probably get away with starting a builder instead. That will be more important early on as the goals. Okay, I can actually get the settler. Wow. Okay, I can use this guy to settle the Fountain of Youth. That would actually be amazing. I'm not even mad about losing that one Gezete. Slightly annoying, but I can live with that. Now, I will have to move out of my city, unfortunately. I need that horse archer to move next to my city center. So, let's send this settler to the Fountain of Yod, because I definitely want to settle that. It just makes sense to take advantage of a scout of a settler we got for free. I don't think this guy is going to move. It seems unlikely. I might have to move out of the city myself. Will he move? No, he's actually moving away at this point. Okay, okay. Still only met one single AI. Now he moved closer. Well, let's attack him. And we'll send the builder to our other city. Now, I will not risk losing my other Gazette. That's for sure. We could get one in five turns. I could also change my policies later and get another one out quickly. I could also get a quick slinger to maybe get the archery boost. So let's maybe get the slinger. And we found the third city state for political philosophy boost. So, so far, the only misstep was losing that one single gazette. But we got a settler for free. I won't say no to that, like ever. Now we can back up slightly. I could get a mine over here, but I don't necessarily want to because that won't give me any culture bombs right now. And I want to maximize the use of culture bombs. We need one more turn of research in bronze working, and then I'll need the boost. So hopefully we'll be able to get that in a reasonable future. I will still attack him because I'm safe inside my city. He will probably run away, but I'm okay with that. We can catch him. Quite a lot of desert up here. Let's heal back to full, just in case. And we can actually use the slinger right away. Oh, this is super convenient, look at this. Here we go, that gives me archery boost. Now we can switch to pottery, because I want to get writing anyway. Yeah, let's get pottery first. We'll still want campuses, you know, even though I'm focusing on oppidums for the most part. And I'm thinking maybe a trader to send him to a city-state. Definitely a good idea. This is a very interesting start so far, I like it a lot. We got 182 gold. So, I could actually buy this tile and get a mine over there. Now, we will replace it in the future, but that would be one way to get the wheat. I would not get the horses because they are not in range of my city borders. So, we would not be getting that. 
I could also get the horses over here for the yields. So let's say we'll get a mine right here that will give me both adjacent tiles. Then I can buy the horses, improve the horses. And for the last build, I could get a mine over here to get the wheat. I could also buy the wheat directly to get irrigation boost because I need to improve the wheat to get irrigation boost. These are the options. Okay, now, where exactly do we settle here? I'm thinking... Well, it should definitely be a hill. So it could be over here, that's an option. And that way, I would have the Fountain of Youth right away. It could also be here. That's a hill as well. And it could be here. If we settle here, I will have pretty much everything important in range. Almost everything. We won't have one bonus resource, but that's okay. Also, there's a goodie hut here that I never picked up. Yes, we'll get it, don't worry. Now, we need one more barbarian kill, but I need to heal up my Gezete. For obvious reasons. Let's get the mine that gives us apprenticeship boost. Our scout is back to full health. And we got early empire. I think we should switch to Discipline at this point, that will help against Barbarians. And... Do we need God King? No, we don't need God King anymore. Let's check what Pantheon we can pick up. So obviously the Free Settler is already gone, as you might expect. I don't really want Earth Goddess as the goals. That's a fairly poor choice as the goals, I think. We could get Stone Circles. That seems to be the most obvious pick for us as the goals. Seems like it. I will have quite a few quarries. So let's maybe get stone circles. What are the other options? I don't think that's the best one for us. Okay, stone circles. God of Craftsmen would be okay as well. But we have quite a few quarries, so we'll go for that. That gives us Mistis and Boast. And we got the third city-state with a free envoy, that's nice. So now, two more builds. We got 206 gold. Our border will expand to the southeast. Okay, that's not quite what I was hoping for, but I'll take it. Next up, state workforce. Not sure if I'll have the time to boost it. We could get Amani and send her to one of the city-states. So, for example, we could get this one to improve our early trade routes. We could also get the Bandar Brunei. That's an option. We do have a quest to train a spearman in Bandar Brunei. I assume Congo might go for this one. Let's get Amani and send her to Bandar Brunei. Here. That way we'll be the suzerain as soon as she arrives there. So again, I need to heal up just a little bit. And then we'll go after the barbarians. We need to unlock writing anyway. So I will be researching that. And we'll pick up that tribal village. Now that we're back over here. So I still have to decide which exact tile I want to settle on. I could settle right here. I think that's going to be the best one. I don't think that's going to be the best one. So, right here. I like that. We'll still be able to get a harbor in the future if we want that. I might not, but we'll see. Alright then. So, now we can get another settler. I could get a Gezete, but I want another settler. We have a lot of good locations for cities in the area. I want to take advantage of that ASAP. And we'll send the trader out to Valletta, actually. That way the road will go through the city location I planned for the future. And we'll get currency boost as well. This is a super interesting map so far. So, this will be the city, and then we'll go get that tribal village. Alright then. Now, the barbarians. One more turn of healing, 
and then we can move. Now, okay, we got 225 gold. I want to get the wheat before Bandar Brunei does. So let's just buy that and we'll go improve it to get irrigation boost. And here's another tribal village, nice one. I thought clay must. We got Secret Society, Void Singers, nice. So that's plus one governor title. Uh, let's get the city started. That's also more era score. And another tribal village. State workforce boost. Well, that's actually quite convenient, because now I don't have to build a special district so early on. And we'll get a monument here to make our border expand a little bit faster. I might want to send a builder here from my capital or so, or save up the gold to buy one. Next up, writing. And for our governor title, I could get Liang, save up the money and then buy a builder down here. That's definitely an option. There's no need to promote Magnus at the moment. We'll want Liang sooner or later anyway. So let's get Liang. And I could actually have Liang in my capital to get a builder in my capital. As in the next one after this. And we can send Magnus elsewhere. So that's not a terrible option. We could send Magnus here and then I'll send a builder from my capital and chop some of these forests to speed up the city's development. That's a pretty decent plan. We can do that. I don't think the city-state will help me with the barbarian camp, but it looks like it actually might. That seems to be where he's heading. Okay. He left the camp, which is good. I do not want the city-state to kill that spearman. We want the kill ourselves because we need it for the boost. Here's a barbarian scout. I can probably kill him with my scout. Should be doable. Okay, okay. Here's more era score. I need to be careful with this because, again, I do not want the city-state to kill him. He should not be able to kill him with this attack, especially across the river. There's irrigation boost, which leaves me with one more improvement. So I could actually get a mine here. I would get the other quarry. I would be replacing the mine in the near future, so in that I sense it might not be worth it. Oh, here's bronze working because we killed because the barbarian scout. And where's iron? Let's check where it is, because that might change our mind about opidum locations. Okay, six sources of iron that we know of. Oh, we got one right next to our city center. Interesting. And over here. Oh, this is very interesting. So for this city, we could have an opidum right here. That's an option. And here's more iron. Okay, so we have a decent amount of iron in the area. We'll definitely grab some of them. And actually, this is going to be the end of the first episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did to denounce the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe for more daily videos. And as I said at the start, if you want to play this map, you can either use my seed or you can download my save, which will be linked in the pinned comment below. And thanks for watching again. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.